the Prince of Wales, 72, is said to be in frequent contact with his youngest son Prince Harry, 36, as the pair work to reconcile their differences. The royal family as a whole is keen to repair relations with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, despite being hurt by some of the allegations made over the past few months, according to an inside source. The source told The Telegraph the pair is in regular contact and their relationship is understood to have turned a corner in recent weeks. The insider added the royal family is keen to patch things over with the Sussexes and bring them back into the fold. The olive branch comes in spite of the many accusations leveled against the firm in recent months, including allegations of racism and abandonment. But the royal family is understood to recognize that Harry is hurting and feel that further ostracization would only cause further damage. In a sign of the Queen's personal intervention, Her Majesty has invited Harry to join her for lunch at Windsor Castle later this month, when he returns to the UK for the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue. The somber event will take place on July 1st, on what would have been the Princess of Wallace's 60th birthday. Harry will be joined by his older brother Prince William for the unveiling, which will be installed in the sunken garden of Kensington Palace. Harry's trip back to the UK marks a prime opportunity for the family to heal the rift that has engulfed the royals in recent months. Meghan Markle is highly unlikely to join Harry for the trip, as she gave birth to a girl just six days ago. The baby will only be a few weeks old when the Duke makes the more than 5,000-mile trip from California to London. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made an attempt at reconciliation themselves this week, as they named their daughter after the Queen. The couple announced they had named the baby Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor. Lilibet is an intimate family pet name used for the Queen since she was a child, as she struggled to say her full name Elizabeth. The nickname stuck and was often used by her late husband, Prince Philip. Royal commentator Dickie Arbiter suggested the name was an olive branch to the royal family. He wrote in the mirror, he moved to California to distance himself, but choosing this name is a complete about face. So I wonder if taking the Queen's nickname for his baby is an olive branch. Only Harry can answer that.